Hi, I'm James, and welcome back to Marriage Mondays. Today we're looking at the question of how do we give and receive love? So it's important to understand that when two people say I love you, they rarely mean the same thing. Even when they do something that's from their perspective loving, it's not always received like that. Here's an example from a couple called John and Monica. So they're in a counselling session with the authors of this book and Monica says of her husband, John, you hardly ever tell me that you love me anymore. She was fighting back tears as she looked at her husband and her husband, John, responded, of course I love you, but I shouldn't have to tell you that I do loving things. My actions speak louder than my words. Now, although that's a cliche and in some ways it's true, for Monica, clearly in her marriage, she wanted to be told. She wanted to be told that she was loved. She wanted to be complimented. Now, we're going to have a look at um, this, uh, uh, this thing called the Five Love Languages. It's a separate book, uh, which I'll put a link for in the description below. Um, so it's this idea that there are five love languages, five ways that we like to be loved or that we can offer love. So the first is words of affirmation. So that could be encouragement, that could be comforting, that could be uh, words to um, just compliment your, your spouse. The second is acts of service. So to do things around the house that would serve the other person, to cook them food, to do some chores, that kind of thing. The third is received gifts. Pretty obvious, um, but uh, obviously people do... Uh, like to receive uh, gifts and for some that is really how they feel loved that someone took the time to go out and buy a gift or make a gift for them. Number four is quality time. To be able to spend the time just with your spouse, just you and him or her, to have that quality time is really important. And five, physical touch. That doesn't have to be a sexual thing. It could just uh, be a hug. It could just be a touch on the shoulder just to show some form of affection. And I'll put the, uh, the link uh, down below. There's a quiz that you can actually do, which I would encourage you to do, you and your spouse, to do to find out what your um, love language is. There's actually uh, more than just couples that can do this. There are options for couples to do it, for children, for teenagers and for singles. It doesn't just have to be um, for a romantic uh, relationship. It could just be uh, that you like to receive love like this generally rather than just in a relationship. Um, just to explain for, for mine, I did the quiz and the most important uh, one for me, my love language is quality time. Uh, so I, uh, and that makes sense to me, I agree with that uh, analysis. I do enjoy having quality time with my wife, uh, with my children, with my family. Uh, so I'd like to encourage you to follow those links down below and uh, that might actually help you in day-to-day -day life. I'll just tell you an example uh, for now. Um, it, it's, uh, it's been something that I've been needing to do just to sort out a few things in the back garden, uh, sort out uh, some, some things that were in the shed, my tools and all of that stuff. And um, my, my wife kept on asking me, can you please do this? And, but I, I got distracted, I was doing other things. And I realised that after she did this quiz, that her love language is acts of service. So she was getting frustrated by this, and it wasn't just that she was frustrated that I hadn't done what I'd asked her to do, but it was actually having more of an emotional impact because that was her love language. So it was almost like I was showing her that I didn't care as much for her by not doing this. So then I'm so much more motivated to do acts of service for her. And maybe in your relationship, you can then recalibrate and work out, well, how can I love my spouse or 
uh, my uh, fiance. Um, and hopefully that can be something that really benefits you in your relationship, in your family. God bless. Thank you for listening. I'm praying for you.